to the bed because if they're doing a vaginal procedure, it helps to hold the speculum. Um, it, it let's give them a place to put that alvord speculum hanging down here as the retractor. Okay. So <clears throat> I have my supplies collected. I've checked my integrity and sterility of my packages. I've checked the expiration date. I've picked out the um, iodine solution that I want. And I don't have one that I want. So we're going to pretend that this says um, iodine, it doesn't say scrub, that we're going to pretend it says solution, which would be the, the uh, green bottle here. But we don't use betadine on these, we just use, use water. You know, everybody understand what I'm saying? I put a water bottle over there. But it's mm. scrub. Um, sometimes people are allergic to iodine, so we use Spizahex on them. That's perfectly legit, and we'll use this and then kind of dilute it a little bit um, with the um, with a sterile uh, uh, water. Just pour sterile water in it. Um, this is a solution, and this is a scrub. <clears throat> so I've checked my packages. What I'm going to do is open my packages, and um, I'm going to open get rid of these guys to give myself more room. And my field is going to be right here next to me. Um, my gloves are somewhere handy. Open and open. Thank you, ma'am. And make myself as much surface coverage as I can here so I stay out of trouble just like when I'm down in a glove, okay? And open it away. And open and open. And last time. Now, can I pour solution in that? No. Can you guys see? Why, why can't I pour a solution in this, Jesse? It's upside down. It's upside down. Right. The cup is upside down. So I have to put one glove on and turn this cup right side up in order to put solution in it, right? So obviously I can't take the lid off with only one hand. So before I open that, I'm going to take the lid off, lay my cap down, and put one glove on. Put, my, put one glove on. I'm right-handed, so I'll, I'll put on the one I can handle the most, most easily. <coughs> Open gloving again. Picking straight up, slowly, so I don't contaminate right. Step back, put my hand in. Here comes my sip. Oh, I need to pour, right? So this hand needs to turn this over sterile to sterile, right? And I'm pouring. A little bit got on the paper, but that doesn't matter as long as it doesn't dribble down the side. If it dribbles, I'm done. Get another set. Start again. You're not, you're not finished for the day. Just get another set because it got contaminated. I'm going to set this back down, and I'm going to put my other glove on. Picking up carefully, stepping away, and keeping my hitchhiker thumb up, right, so I don't touch my skin. Now what I want to do is I've checked my indicator to make sure that it's changed. I know it's correct. These are not Raytex, these are regular 4x4 um, sponges. And I will fold them and put them in my prep solution. One, two, three, four, and five. I use a glove a little bit bigger than I normally wear. It just makes it easier to get them on. You guys may want to try that for preps. Keeps you out of trouble. So this last, these four go on, go in, and this last one goes on my sponge stick. I'm going to pick up my cup, right? I'm sterile, hands are sterile, the cup's sterile, sponge is sterile, and I can come over here, and I, I of course, screwed up because I haven't um, moved my drape. Let's see, somebody move my drape for me. Good. I have a sterile towel right here, right? And just like we did on our prep the other day, I'm going to cut my hands, cuff them, as Miss Easton showed you, to um, stick it under here so I don't touch anything because this is a really sloppy prep, and I don't want these people laying in this for um, the concern of the betadine burning their skin. So we're ready to prep. I'm going to put my sponge down in there. I'm going to start here at the Mons and scrub, 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 scrub. And I'm going to go out the legs, going to the um, labia each time and coming up. This is the dirty part here, okay? So I don't want to pick up cooties here and drag them all over. So I'm just going to go into the crease each time and bring it out all the way out to the end. Can you take something off this stuff? And I can just put it on my, on my drape so I'm not using. Once again, mons, 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 starting at the um, side through the crease, all the way in, going from, in this case, dirty to clean. 
All right. Now I'm ready to start um, on the labia. So my first one goes right here. I kind of push and it makes a lot of beta going and I swipe um, right down in the crease across the anus and down. Only one swipe with each one. All right, I don't want to pick up more bacteria um, on the sponge and to haul, uh, from the anus and haul it back to the vagina. Once again, starting at the um, uh, mons prominence and down in the crease on the side against the anus and away. Last one goes inside, which on these mannequins is hard to do, so you can just say, um, I'm scrubbing inside, and then you'll go all the way into where you're about this much of the sponge stick will be inserted because you're scrubbing the end of the cervix, the uterine cervix, when you're doing this, okay? So it's in and around and around and around and around and around. Good scrub. Out and down across the anus, and you're done. Questions? So we're going over the anus three times? Yes, sir. Okay. And we don't go to, from the, the left side of the hoof to the elbow. Labium. labium. And the right side of the labium. And then do in the center. I mean, our PowerPoint is totally different than what you're Like the yeah. first leg, yeah. it's like this. Like the leg. Okay. Yeah, the Mons pubis, go down. Your PowerPoint was this way, yeah. Ms. Walker yeah. did from Mons pubis so out, 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 out. So you mm -hmm. want it this way. Okay. It's the same thing. It's the same, same thing. thing. All I'm just so she was here. Her anus three times. Our thing says she, only one. She swiped past it. She didn't. The last one you go down she into. She did it three times though. She said go down to the anus. Your last one you swipe middle and go in the anus and out. Not in it, but swipe down. Okay. Does that make sense? You're you're reading a little bit and more into it. Mons here. Out, months here, out. Sorry, months here, out, months here, out. Here, crease, and, and down. Across. Yep. She said across. She didn't say okay. down. Okay. Then your third, your fourth one, same thing. Here and down. Your last one in. Swipe the anus and out. Okay. Still confused? Mm -mm. I'm just. Yeah. That's what I thought too. I was confused about that. I'm glad yeah, I got that straight yeah. <laughs> So the last thing is you'll take your towel away and that stays. You don't dry it. It stays just like that. Okay? Uh, because the surgeon's now ready to drape and um, he's going to operate with a moist field there. If he wants to dry it, he'll dry it himself. Dry some stuff. It's usually pretty much dried up by the time he gets here. Questions? This one we pulled away because it had the betadine in it. Usually um, what most hospitals do, at Mercy Anyway, they put a uh, um, big bag here, and all the trash goes in the bag. All these, these are not Braytex, these are 4 by 4s all are a prep basin. All this goes in the trash bag, and then they pull that away so the person's laying on a dry sheet. Now, I don't want you to be confused. When you're at Washington Regional, they're counted sponges. Mm -hmm. They go in the cake bucket. Okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You've counted 10 to start with, but five you are keeping. And these five, you won't throw in the trash, they go in your kick bucket. And they're accounted for at the end of the case. So, for our return demo, do we need to bring a trash can up to arrange have, furniture? Or no? You'll bring a trash can? Do we need that? You can use it all right there. You're okay. done with this. I can, I can put all my trash on the side of there. Okay. I just brought a trash can in to make it easy. Nothing so either way. I don't here. have to. Yeah. I could have scrubbed my belly and put the sponge on the side of my open wrapper. Okay. That makes sense. And then I'll be glove to glove, palm to palm, and skin to skin.